Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to insert an image into your web page. Now, we're, I'm going to assume that you already have the image uploaded via the file manager. It's up on your website on the web server. So there's another tutorial on how to use the file manager if you're not sure. Um, so you want to go into your HTML module, and click Edit. And then let's say you want to put a photo off to the right. Um, how you do that is you would click the cursor at the beginning of the paragraph. Not over here, but at the beginning. Then you would click the insert image. Now you're giving a URL choice here. This could, in theory, be a link to another website, an image off on CNN or some other site, but you really don't want to do that. You want to try to get the, the image up on your web server into your website. So you would click there and hit browse. Now this is your file manager or one version of it. From here, you could, in theory, create folders and upload new images if you wanted to. Um, this here shows all your current directories and the files within. So if you clicked on one of your directories, you would see all of your images and you can click to view a preview out over here on the right. So once you select one that you want to link to, say, oh, this is the image that I want to put on my page, you would select it so you see the preview, then hit select. Now you can see that the URL is filled in. There's a preview down here. You could adjust some settings, add a border or space left or right. Um, you can also set the alignment left or right. Now in this case, we would want to select right. As you can see, it's going to appear over to the right. Um, you could add a link to that image, cnn.com or whatever. Um, there's some other advanced stuff over here you could play with. You hit OK, and now it's to the right. There's your image. Now you can see even though we put the cursor over here, it aligned to the right. So, and you can see when you click on it and select it, the right alignment is selected. If I undid it or selected the left alignment, it would appear over here. Um, if we selected the image again, you could go back into the settings if you wanted to. If you wanted to put a little border around that image, you could. You can see now it's floating a little bit nicer there. You can put it back on the right if you wanted to. And when you hit update, there's your image over on the right. Normally it looks nicer on the right. Um, the text tends to wrap a little bit nicer and it's nice and left justified on, on the left. Because if it floats left, very often you're going to get, well in this case it worked out pretty well, but in a lot of cases you'll have a sentence that starts up here and then it wraps down or it can mess up your formatting, so just keep that in mind. Um, so again, we went under Edit. We put our cursor where we wanted the image to appear. You hit the image icon. Then you want to browse to find an image. Select your image. Hit Select. Now if you don't do anything and just hit OK, it's going to appear like this. Then you could select the image again and hit right to justify it off to the right. If you did want to play with the, the border a little bit, you could add some pixel width. You could even put a border on that if you wanted to. And now when you update, you see we have an image with a border and some spacing. Now do keep in mind that these images need to be sized correctly at the right resolution, the right format. All that is done um, an image editing program like Photoshop or GIMP, or you could even use the online photo editor here. Um, it's okay for doing basics. So that, that's how you insert an image into a web page.